Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Angelo from the T-Squad family and today we are back at Camping World Racing Resort here in Concord, North Carolina. And I just want to show you another site that we have been staying at for a few days, not much. Uh, the Z-Max Dragway had an event and today, like I said, I want to just go over a brief video of, ooh, that sun is hot. I want to go over a brief video of this campsite, this camp spot, I should say, and how tight it is. And that's why it's important if you're gonna reserve it here and you you have no choice, this is the spot to be in, of course, because Camping World RV, or Camping World Racing Resort does a great job with hosting the events like what's behind me right there, the Z-Max. And of course, you have the Charlotte Motor Speedway up on the hill up there. So that being said, like I said, yes, I love to video multiple sites here at Camping World Racing Resort. I am not getting paid to do this video from Camping World Racing Resort. I did pay for my site, so uh, there is no freebies here, and I don't expect it. But yeah, so we checked in the other day, and right before the race, we ended up renting our RV to a wonderful couple that we've been renting to for three years, staying here at, race, at the Camping World Racing Resort for specifically for the Z-Max. Um, for uh, the Ford side by side, which is like the race that they, they the vehicles just pick up and go, and then they have like a half a mile, I think, before they got to stop, and uh, it's pretty powerful. You could actually hear that from my house, about seven miles away. All right, let's start by talking about where this site is. We are in the D, as in David, and if you check out my other videos, I do come in from there. There's that big, huge American flag right to the right side of that building and you can see the blue roof that is camping world uh, uh the store um so what this is is if you pull down this road there the first entrance if you notice from the distance there is the check-in where you would have to check in and then you would pull down the first street and this is where it would bring you and it does go I believe A, B, C, D, we are D, and then E, if I'm not mistaken, right there. So you would start right there and right past the playground would be A, and then B would be the second. This would be C right here in front of me. And then as you keep continue driving, you'll see C, I'm sorry, D on the left, and E is the last road on the left so as you pull in and yes there's the z-max right there in front of you to the right if you look at the stands over there that is the dirt track and of course there is the charlotte motor speedway all right so here we are charlotte motor speedway d 1 through 12. now i will warn you these are tight so what i'm about to show you these are tight spots be the first to get here if you have no choice to stay in the A, B, C, and D. Don't get me wrong. I, I am not knocking this at all. This is a wonderful, wonderful campground to be at during a race. What I am going to warn you about is if you are the last one to get in here or the last two or three to get in here, what you need to do is pull up from there. That's where the entrance is. You'll pull straight ahead. If you are in D, you will not turn, but you'll pull straight ahead. And then you'll back up, like I'm backing up right now, into your sights, either on the left or right. And there is the Grand T. All right, so we are specifically staying in D9, which is one from the end. I got here early. This way nobody, you know, this way it's not hard for me to get in. So what I ended up doing because I was the first one here and I got lucky. I pulled in and you see my truck? I pulled in right there where my truck is and I pulled all the way straight and then I backed up right there. If you have not checked out my other videos about this campground, please do so. I'll try to put a link down in the description below. I gotta put my coffee down. It is morning, it is like 7.30 a.m. and I love it. So I'll put those links in the description about the other sites, especially the deluxe site, which has the brick pavers. Uh, and you just get spoiled when you go there. You don't want to stay anywhere else. But 
sometimes you have to do what you have to do and you can't find a spot because of race weekend or the race is, and you're the last one, this is the spot to get to. It is very conveniently located right in front of the Z-Max, especially if you're going to the Z-Max or the dirt track. But I will tell you, even the Charlotte Motor Speedway, which is like a maybe a seven minute walk from here, this is still a great location. Here is the site. Of course, the sun is wonderful at some times. And I believe these are 20 feet by 40 or 50. Don't count me on that. But this is this is a nice site. But I will I will warn you. I will warn you. And this is not knocking this place. I'll tell you what. Let's walk this way and I want to show you something. Okay. We're at D9. D7's there, D5, and so on. You can see I have a 50-foot water hose going down. But look at that. Have you ever seen a long, huge sewer pipe like that? It goes from there. Oh, that fell, by the way. It goes from there all the way check this out all the way to here all the way that is long like i told you i will warn you if you do come here you might want to bring some extra sewer holes i'll bet you camping world racing resort is sells big when people come here and don't realize how far the the, the uh, sewer pipe is. But yep, they have cable. Full hookup, 50 amp. By the way, water heater is working excellent. This I just replaced. This is a tankless water heater. You gotta check out that video that I just posted. All right, so back over here. Yes, I do put my surge guard on. Always wanna put that on. And I will open this up and show you. Yes, this does have 30 amp or 50. Also has the cable right there. That works great. This place is happening during race weekend. It's because of that place right there, Z-Max. This is on top of the RV. That there's ways to get in and out. Pull in, back up, and back into your site. Like that. Or you could do what I did. If you're alone, come in, pull straight, and back straight up. There's your sewer pipe heading from there all the way under the RV, all the way to here. will tell you it's something about two things that i love the most i love nascar and if you if you ever if you like nascar go ahead and check out a few videos that we are camping on the infield at both atlanta motor speedway and charlotte motor speedway but i love nascar and i love rving or camping so this like i just love this because you're here camping and you got nascar behind you over there the dirt track yeah how can you ask for more i mean this is just wonderful all right one more look at the site before we cut this video by the way, if you see an orange car driving by, tell them Angelo from T-Squad RVing said, hey, he is a great guy. Wave at him. 99.999% of the time, he will wave back at you because he's all smiles every day. Well, there you go. D9 here at Camping World Racing Resort. Another video down. Can't ask for much, Charlotte Motor Speedway. 
in the T-Squad family. All right, I better hurry up and end this video. They are mowing the grass here. So, hey, everybody, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I will go in the sun here and get a nice tan. Hit that bell and you will be notified for videos like this. In the meantime, if you have not checked out Camping World Racing Resort, now's the time to do it. If you love NASCAR, even if you're just passing through Concord or Charlotte, North Carolina, this is the place to stay at. Full hookup, 50 amp, 30 amp. You can't go wrong. Very nice people. Easy check-in, easy payment online as well that I just found out. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do another one inside. You gotta check that one out too. Hey everybody, hope to see you guys in the next video and we'll see you soon. Happy camping.